I'm Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. We're here at this gorgeous NoHo7 theater here in Hollywood, California. We're here celebrating the premiere of so many amazing films. There are 31 films opening here today, including Toy Story 4 and Child's Play, and 29 short, remarkable films that also have an opportunity to actually get entered for the Oscars, for the Academy Awards. How amazing is that? That this awesome place is giving a platform for filmmakers. It feels like the dream is just so close to these filmmakers. You know, you're just one step away and we're so excited to be here today, including the filmmakers at RNF's Maturing Youth, which is actually screening here today. And not only is this an opportunity for the filmmaker that's just beginning, this is also opportunities for filmmakers and Broadway producers and authors of amazing creations of illustration and poetry and story and wow, there's just so much talent in there tonight. I can't wait to get in there and interview these guys. We'll have an opportunity to talk to Derek Quick of Four Walt Distribution Company. So guys, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Hi everyone, this is Janet Miranda coming in with News and Entertainment. I am here with such incredible talent. I, I just, I'm, I'm breathless to just be here with you guys today. I'd love to uh, share with the audience your name. I'm Sushil Bibbs. Robert Sims. And can we talk a little bit about the project that you guys worked on together? Well, the film is called Voices for Freedom, The Higher Sisters Legacy, and it's about the women who left opera to become the people who invented the first musical. Wow. And I mean, that is really not just art, but it's history. Yes. You know, and it's the history of art. It's the history of art. It's also the history of how we got this thing we call the musical. And it's also about following your dreams and achieving your dreams with the talent that you have. Dream, 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 dream. It's a story dream. of, dream, of dream. hope. You can achieve anything. I have a dream, 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 dream. Do you have a dream, dream, dream? Anna, I am so looking forward to our interview. Oh, but we had a dream. The opera? Yes. Dream, 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 dream. But the dream was not to be. In the 1880s and 90s, when night riders and lynchings terrorized black people, and black-faced minstrels ridiculed them across the land. The first African-American women to succeed in touring opera stood up to become Voices for Freedom. Be inspired by Voices for Freedom, the Hires Sisters' legacy. Are you also the person that wrote the film? Yes, I wrote it and researched it and directed it and produced it and that sort of stuff. Wow. And this awesome gentleman, what is your name? Robert Sims. Robert Sims. And what is it that you do that's associated with this film? I'm singing in the film and I play the part of the minister and one of the characters who was the first to be on the Broadway stage. Wow. That is incredible. It's old Uncle F. Old Uncle F, so tell us, what was that like stepping on stage as someone who was so legendary and having to fill his shoes? You know, I have sung many baritone roles, but this was really exciting because it's my history. It's my culture, so it was exciting to do this. And how much research did you have to do to, to, to fill such a legendary historical role of this. Well, I had a fabulous director, Sushil Bibbs. And I pay him. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, I've been doing the music of African Americans for some time, so, um, but Sushil and I have worked together before, and she's a wonderful director, so, and I'm good at following directions. Well, he's being modest. You know, he is the first person since William Moore, for the famous man who sang Old Man River in that movie. Oh, my uh, God. Oak yes. He is the first person since William Warfield to give a concert of spirituals in Carnegie Hall. 
Wow. So he's he's a legend in his own time, and I brought him in because that fit that character. Well, I'm going to ask you for a favor since you're a legend. Would it be possible at all for you to just give us a little tiny snippet here on news and entertainment of one song that you sing in this film? Well, there's a spiritual God is a God, uh, and I sing that. God is a God. God don't never change. God is a God. And he always will be God. I love yes. yeah. It's a Yay. wonderful song. Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. Beautiful. Could you do it one more time? <laughs> I just need to hear it just one more time. Just a little tiny snippet. I need it from my soul. It felt, felt so good. God is a God. God don't never change. God is a God, and he always will be God. Amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Where can the world find you? They can find me at robertsims.com, but I'm all over YouTube. I've done wonderful things with the Mormon Tabernacle Choir and many other great choirs as a soloist. So. Robert Sims, Baritone on YouTube, they'll find me. Wow, I'm just honored to have both of you here. Thank you so much. This is Janet Miranda, and we're coming in with news and entertainment. Guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. And, by the way, if you, for some reason, miss this episode, you can catch us at www.newsinentertainment.com. Also, don't forget to click and subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook page right here. Click. If you want the scoop on news and you want all the juicy stuff, subscribe, follow us. The links are below. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, and you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news and entertainment.